morning. I'm Ron from RS Finishing Systems, also 1833 Booth Clean. We're here at Bud's Collision uh, this morning to clean their spray booths. Uh, number one, you want to keep your booths maintained. Number one, you provide the painter the best possible cleaning uh, environment for painting. Number two, your booth will be balanced all the time. We'll also look at all the interlocks, make sure the booth is safe and it's running properly. And uh, we'll go from there. And as we're cleaning, we'll go through the process with you and you'll, you'll see how it's done to have a beautiful, clean booth. Cool. So 1-800, 188, no, 1833 booth clean. 1833 booth clean. Yep. And as you can see, if you look at the back doors, we also do many, many other services. Uh, right from installing spray booth, relocations, upgrades, you name it, we can provide it. No customer is too big or too small for us to help. That's right. And then, uh, if, what, what's uh, you guys service Ontario, Canada? We will travel anywhere in Canada. Okay. To to clean booths and to make sure your booth is running properly, or if you have any mechanical issues, burner issues, fan issues, you name it, we'll come and help you anytime. Yeah. So we're gonna have a, a quick look in the back here at some of the equipment we use when we clean your spray booths. Once we unload it, you'll be able to have a, a better look at what we have here. So what do we have? This is a, a, a very high pressure uh, power washer. It's also heated as well. Uh, you know, if we run into uh, really built on stuff, normal, uh, you can't get it off. You need really, really hot water to cut through it. Uh, this will heat to five gallons a minute at uh, 6,000 uh, PSI. Wow. And it, it'll pretty much cut through anything. Uh, this is a very high powered uh, vacuum system it's also a 24 horsepower motor on it and there's an actual motor in there yeah That's yeah awesome. yep they're both uh, actual 24 horsepower they run on propane uh, so we have nice clean emissions as well okay uh, the vacuum system is triple filters whatever we pull out of the paint booth because uh, clearly we want to treat the environment properly so the first one uh, filters out big big particulate the second one uh, filters out smaller particulate and then finally we have a five micron filter at the very end to get even the tiniest little bit of particulate out of the water. So as we're working you'll see what we do and uh, it's going to turn out fabulous awesome. and, and Gabe's going to have a, a great uh, clean booth to uh, pump out clean paint jobs. All right. yeah. Here we go, we'll see how it goes. So what are these? These are your uh, secondary exhaust filtration. It's very important to keep these cleaned. As you can see, these are really, really dirty, which is normal. You'll see what a new one should look like okay. as opposed to the old ones. Yep. And what this does is it actually protects your fans in the air makeup. So you have This is from air coming in. That there is air coming in and it's also uh, air going out, which you'll see the zigzag ones come down. They're going to be pretty rock hard. Yeah. So this protects the main filters, which are these, because they're obviously very right. expensive. These are the roof filters. Yes. Right. So that pre-cleans the air. Cleans the air before it yep. gets to the roof filter. Yep. So by the time it comes out of the roof filter, you're down to five microns. Okay. Cool. It's That's noisy in there. You're gonna have to scream. <laughs> so as you see, we're up doing the air makeup. This is what I was talking about before with your exhaust filters. This is your secondary filtration. Now these are extremely dirty, as you can tell. And then we obviously put new ones in. What kind of filters are these? This is uh, it's fiberglass media, the CG5000. It's 99.8% efficient. Okay. So what that does, go in here, 
see how it keeps all our duct work clean? Yep. And our fans clean. Yep. Now without that media in place, this would just be caked solid. That's stuff. right. The fan right. would be caked solid. It wouldn't deliver airflow. It'd be out of balance. Okay. This is actually in really good condition because this booth's been running for, what, six years now? Yeah. Awesome. So yeah, having filters in good. place all the time, staying on top of maintenance makes a world of difference. That's right. regular basis number one you want to be in compliance with your MOE certificate number two you want to give the painter the best possible painting environment he can have for good quality paint jobs which consists of number one you need good filtered airline going into the booth number two you need a clean booth good airflow and most importantly a balanced booth if your booth is out of balance, you'll never get a clean paint job ever. It doesn't matter what you do. So maintenance is very important to get good quality, consistent work. Right. Okay. So talk about a little bit. Talk about the the uh, the the uh, the blanket of, of of air when you have a proper yeah. um, when, when pressure in the booth. A, when I say a balanced booth, uh, you have your vehicle placed centrally in the booth on a downdraft. When you have the exact same amount of air going in as you coming out, you yep. actually have a curtain over the vehicle. Yep. When that booth is unbalanced, whether it be positive or negative, you end up with turbulent air. So whatever dirt is floating around in the air, and let's not kid ourselves, there'll always be dirt in the air. Yeah. A certain amount. Yeah. The booth isn't balanced, there'll be no curtain around the vehicle, and it'll land on your paint every time. Right, so instead of the air flowing around the vehicle, start it just, start it, turbulencing. Yep, and it's going to land and right where it sticks. And it'll pick up right dirt the from the feet. floor, and then it'll yep, be on your hood. Yep, on your suit, there's a little bit, whatever, yeah. every time you're coming in and out of the booth. But if you have a balanced booth, that curtain always looks after the vehicle, and that's the whole point. Right, okay. Well, that's a great tip from uh, Ron here at uh, RS Finishing yep. with uh, 18833. 18833. There you go. You're oh, close. Man, I'm so close. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's fly. Perfect day. Let's fly. Let's fly. Let's fly. Not terrible. It's nice and clean.